Dozens of American doctors are traveling to Syria doing their part to help treat a public health crisis in the midst of a brutal civil war. More than 100,000 people have been killed in the country. Millions have been displaced from their homes and pushed out of their borders as refugees. 70% of Syria's medical professionals have fled the country. In Aleppo, for example, there were about 2,000 doctors there before the crisis. Today, the number is down to 70. In the opposition-controlled area, which is home to more than 2 million civilians, there are just 10 hospitals and 70 practitioners, according to one of our guests joining us today. And with the collapse of Syria's health care system, many Syrians have not had any medical care or medicine available for more than two years, and those treating the injured are short of everything, IV fluids, antibiotics, painkillers, surgical supplies, electricity, ambulances, and even the very fuel needed to operate generators to keep the lights on. There are multiple challenges. Um, some of it are very uh, logistical. Uh, so to get from uh, Turkey uh, to inside Syria, uh, sometimes it's very difficult. Uh, border crossings are not open all the time. Uh, if you do not carry a Syrian passport, uh, it's uh, you have to do it the uh, unofficial, quote-unquote, way. Uh, that means you smuggle yourself through the borders, and that has been done by many physicians. Uh, to get to the hospital that you would like to volunteer in inside Syria also is very unsafe because many of the roads uh, are bombed routinely by the regime. Um, there are many uh, battalions, uh, many roadblocks, so you have to take uh, um, very um, unsafe roads to get to the hospitals. And uh, there's always things unexpected in the way. Um, so even reaching to the hospital is a nightmare. Uh, besides also the shortage of uh, the very basic things that physicians will need, whether it's medications or medical supplies or surgical supplies for surgeons, the shortage also of specialists and medical personnel. In one of the hospitals in Aleppo, uh, they do not have nurses uh, to man the emergency room, so they were using uh, people who have no uh, medical health background in the emergency room. The people who, I mean, I've uh, seen someone who had a background in interior design who's working in the uh, uh, emergency room. So the situation is really uh, uh, very uh, bad and catastrophic, and it's getting worse, uh, unfortunately, not better. Dr. Zahir, you've been to Syria seven times over the past year. How have the conditions deteriorated? What's changed over the course of your visits? I mean, what we are witnessing in Syria over the past uh, two years is systematic uh, destruction of the uh, public health uh, system. Before the crisis, Syria had a reasonable health care system. So we had a good vaccination rate for children. We had a good um, um, survival rate. We had reasonable infrastructure. And this has been undermined uh, day by day during the, the crisis. Uh, so right now, the most important thing that we have shortage of physicians, uh, more than 50% of doctors in Syria who were forced out of Syria because of the continuous harassment and ter targeting. And we have also destruction of the hospitals, so there are only a few hospitals that are operating. And uh, besides that, we have uh, destruction of the public health uh, uh, care system. So it's a complicated medical emergency, as they call it, uh, where not only you have people who are injured and wounded and dying every day and inability to save them, but also you have the destruction of the infrastructure that we need to, see to save these patients.